Let's talk about mm. the election process itself. Yeah. Was there anything anything you noticed? I mean, people will say it would be hard for the winner to notice anything <laughs> that has gone wrong. But is there anything you thought that INEC did not quite do or anything that actually gave you fears when the election started? You know, you, you should know by now I'm a very fair person, very, very objective. If we did not do well, I will, I will mention it. And I will say it without, without hiding anything. Now, to all intent and purpose, I think Mr. Aki or Rebi should be commended. The resident yes, electoral yes. commissioner. Yes. Oh no, okay. that that gentleman has my respect, because right from Upper Friday till the elections were held on Saturday, he showed to us that he meant well for the state. Now all the agents of the parties were at the airport to receive the electoral materials as they arrived at Kure Airport. I was there, PDP was there, ACN was there. So we look at the materials, they were all intact. We follow the materials from the airport down to CBN. Ordinarily, we are not supposed to be there. But we went with the um, INEC officials and with the material to CBN until they were taken to the strong room. Then Thursday morning, all the political parties also went to the CBN to where those things were stored and we, in our presence. They were counted local government by local government, intact in the way we saw them at the airport. All parties were present. All parties were present, for those who are interested anyway. Okay. All parties, because I won't vouch for any other person, but yeah. I know majority of the parties were in attendance. Okay. At least the major ones, Labour Party, PDP, um, ACN, uh, and all the other smaller, smaller parties, they were all present. And we went and we took these things down to INEC office. In our presence, the one for Elijah and Eseudu were distributed that same day, and the agents of the local government followed them down to uh, the Nava base in Ibokoda. So the man showed that there was nothing to hide. But you see, below him, I may not be able to talk emphatically. Because at some of the local governments, for example, on that particular day on Friday, when the materials were being distributed, there a particular... Um, um, EO, electoral officer from the Northern Centurion District, I don't want to mention the local government, came in late. They were supposed to arrive by 8 o'clock. He came in around 1 o'clock or 2. In fact, to show the seriousness of Mr. Akin Rebi, he removed the man. He said, it shows you are not very serious. Replace him with somebody else who went to that particular local government to conduct the election. That man is a gentleman. I think if we have more of his type in uh, INEC, one oh, would be glad. So but you see, the truth of the matter is this. Yes, we are victorious. Yes, God has granted us this opportunity. Nonetheless, I think at the lower level, I neck we need to do more at the lower level. In terms of what the ad hoc staff? Yes, or of general course. organization. Of course, some of the ad hoc, ad hoc staff did not show up. For example, in Ubu World One, there was no election in the Laje because the ad hoc staff said they were not going. You may not blame them because maybe these are guys who have never seen water before. <laughs> and then you ask them to go to the riverside, and uh, with the noise that there's going to be war, rumors of war, and all the rest of them, they could be scared. But in the entire world, 16, uh, for 15 units, mm -hmm. there was no election held in there that. There was no election in Laje. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a ward, okay. Ubu Ward 1. No election was held in Laje, but Ubu Ward 1, who, what, that had the 16, for 15 units, there was no election because the INEC had ad hoc staff did not go there. Other other places elections were held. At least like it has 12 worlds. Yeah. So election was held in all the other 12 worlds. But you see, banning this one, for me, to all intent and purpose, um, grade by grade, at the state level, I will give INEC about 80 to 85 percent. At the local government level, I'll be talking about the region of 60, 65. Then below that, I may not be able to award mark. But if you aggregate everything, I think INEC should be above above board in this election. If you, in your opinion, the election was, was okay, I went above board in this yeah, of election. Course, of but course, yes. One of your agents was complaining about the results on the Elijah World. Why were you complaining about that? I, I was if the one. I was the one. You were the one. I was yes. the one that so what was your complaint? You, you see, the truth again is this. The briefing I had, because I represented the state, and the briefing I had was that in Mahi Ward 2, that the results were mutilated. And as a result, that the election was, was doctored one way or the other. I raised the issue before, uh, to, uh, with uh, the uh, returning officer. He overruled me 
But that notwithstanding the overruling, the facts of the matter are this. One, at the World Coalition, party members were to sign the, the document, A forms, E C either A or C or whatever it is, they were to sign it. They had signed in the coalition center. It was when the man got to Igbokoda, which was the local government headquarters, that he began to alter and doctor what happened, what transpired. So on our own sheet, it was plain. There were no errors in it. That is, that's the copy given to our own agent. But the copy at his own hand were mutilated, were doctored. So the returning officer said, no, that all the parties signed. I said, yes, all the parties signed. But after signing at um, Asisa or whatever, the, uh, at what they call it, what one is at uh, Babijo, after signing at Babijo, and you now brought the report down to Igbokoda to alter it. If the alteration had shown on the duplicates, we will know it was done over there. The alteration was only on the original while the duplicates were playing. And I said something fishy. So I raised that particular issue. I also raised the issue of the accreditation that was done in Ugbo Ward uh, 5. I mentioned Ugbo Ward 4, uh, and I, I apologize for it. I said Ugbo Ward 5. In Ugbo Ward 5, the number of persons accredited was not up to the number of persons that voted. In other words, the accreditation should determine the number of persons that will vote. But when 80 persons were accredited and 120 persons voted, then something was wrong. I raised that particular issue. It was addressed one way or the other. But you see, you ask me, if you are a victor, why will you challenge, why will you be asking this question? Yeah. The law provides for it. Section, section, sorry, section 137 of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended says, an election petition may be presented by one or more of the following persons. One, a candidate in an election. A candidate here does not mean whether you are successful or not. Any of the candidates that feels agreed by anything can, can present an, an election a petition. Two, a political party which participated in the election. So in this regard, if we look at areas when well, we think that this person ought to score 30 and is being given 40, assuming the person proceeds to tribunal, like what happened in 2007, I was in PDP then, and to all the tenth of purpose, I gave this piece of advice. I said, come, we are being challenged by Labour Party in the areas of our victory. This law permits us to also challenge them in the areas of their victory. Why won't go ahead? Somebody saw reason with me, and other persons were there in their victory, and they were just gallivanting on the ballot. And truly, when the elections in Elijah, SLD, uh, Okitipopa, and Irele were upturned, the Papa, they had the victory. Okay. We can't make that mistake. All right. And therefore, we must be at a lot. Speaking of which, uh, since you were in the PDP, but uh, let's take a look at this PDP comment, and I'd like to get your response on this one. sure that this statement announced by the INEC is not a true reflection of the desire of the people of Undo State. Is a product of perversion orchestrated by some unscrupulous elements in INEC to impose a regime of suffocation, a regime of sovereign, of poverty, of deprivation, of want on the people of Ondo State. Many irregularities characterize this election. INEC deliberately refused to conduct election in the strongholds. We hinted the security agents at the beginning that Labour Party was planning to rig election in the rural areas and they should extend security coverage to the area. Deliberately, I want to assume, all the army of security deployed to this state concentrated in the cosmopolitan. They decided to while away time in the capital city, in the headquarters of local government, while the rural areas were left unprotected.